Hey guys, it's Mr. K and welcome back to another video. So let me ask you, have you ever wanted to turn your art into something wearable? Maybe a shirt, tote bag, or even a hoodie? In today's video, we're diving into the world of heat pressing, a simple that brings your designs to life. Let's break it down and explore how this machine fits into the creative side of steam. You know, heat presses aren't just crafty tools. They're a perfect fusion of technology and art. From temperature settings to pressure adjustments, you're using, you're applying science and engineering principles to make your creative vision real. It's also a great example as to how STEAM tools can lead to entrepreneurship and self-expression. Now, let's get into why it matters. Learning a heat press opens the door for so many creative endeavors. Whether you're making shirts for your brand, gifts for your family, or prototypes for a business idea, this is hands-on learning that actually pays off. Plus, it teaches skills like precision, design thinking, and quality control. Let's break down how to use the heat press safely and effectively. So the first thing you wanna do is turn on the heat press and set your temperature. Typically around 305 degrees Fahrenheit for HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl. I have it set for 340 because I will be using a different type of transfer, which is a direct to film transfer. This allows for full color images, but has the same effect as if you were using regular vinyl or heat transfer vinyl. You're gonna set your timer. Since we already have high heat, five seconds is a good enough setting for our transfer. Next step is you're gonna open this up and you're gonna grab your shirt. Once you grab your shirt, you're gonna spread it out smoothly onto the lower plat. Smooth it out. And then you're gonna wanna press it for just five seconds to remove any moisture. Press the start button. Okay, now you're ready to add your design. So when you're adding your design, what I like to do is I take four fingers and go from the neckline down. Then I know that this is a perfect position for the shirt. Let me adjust it a little bit so that it doesn't go over the, the platen. Okay, make sure it's even from edge to edge. Now, I'm gonna take four fingers and notice that this is where it ends, taking the top of the design and placing it accordingly. Now, you're ready to press it onto the shirt. Usually, you would use some type of Teflon paper or a barrier in between so that the design doesn't get messed up by the heat, but because we're using transfers, it is actually very heat resistant, so the design is able to go onto the shirt without needing any type of barrier. So what I'm gonna do is take the top platen and press it down, hit the start button, and press it for about five seconds. Just to be sure, I'll press it for another five seconds and just wait for the beep. Now, I'm gonna lift it up and wait for it to cool. This is a cold peel, so what that means is while the image is still fresh from being pressed, you cannot remove it because the adhesive is still cooling down to stick to the shirt. Cold peel means you wait till it is cold to the touch. Right now, it's pretty hot you can peel it off. Now is your turn. I challenge you to design a mini collection. Take two to three different graphics or phrases that represent you. Then heat press them into shirts, bags, totes, hoodies, whatever you want, or even patches. Think bold, think expressive, and most of all, have fun creating something wearable. So in conclusion, heat pressing is more than just printing. It's visual storytelling through fabric. It's a gateway into design, business, and STEM principles and creativity. So the next time you have an idea, remember, you don't need to wait, you can wear it, press it, and share it. See you in the next creative challenge.